What's up boys, winning back with another college football blitz video. In this video we are going to be covering 3-4 odd. This is for one of my boys that were in the stream. So, will Buck press 3? You're going to show blitz, slant your defensive line down, uh, uh, and you're going to pinch them. So what do we, when you pinch them, it's just going to move them out a step. It's going to help come in the B-gap. What's going to happen here is one of three things is going to happen, or I guess four. Either the lineman will come or the linebacker will come on the B-gap. Well, I guess all five could all five of them randomly come, but mainly what's so – this, this can happen sometimes too. This is why I was, like, trying to uh, – I mean, I've been working, but I was trying to figure out a way to post this. I want to do it in Mutt, but I don't have two controllers, so it's just a pain in the ass. And so I just, this is the setup, though. It works in head-to-head. -head. It just is uh, not the most consistent, I feel like, of the blitzes that we found. None of these dudes have quick jump. If you're using Texas, it works way better. Uh, once we get more quick jumps uh, in Mutt, it'll be way better, too. But it still works. It just is, uh, you see in the first, the second rep, it just sometimes they'll bounce off each other. And that's just... This is what happens or whatever. I mean, usually this is what's going to happen. One of the two dudes are going to come. But anyways, if you guys are new and you like this, subscribe. Give me a thumbs up on the video. Again, the setup is to show blitz. You're going to pinch your D-line and slant them down. That's all you got to do. Then I would personally go into your coverage adjustments and back my outside corners off. So you don't have them pressed. You know what I mean? Always back them off. Unless you're playing a shitty team. You know, your corners are way better. But even then, they can still get roasted. See, I'm trying to show you guys a bunch of reps. This one is going to be a little bit longer. See, I wanted it to be this one to be a little bit more raw so you can see the when it doesn't come in. It comes in, but, like, sometimes it doesn't come in. And it just, I feel like that's just 3-4 odd. <clears throat> but it does work better in game. Practice mode's kind of a bitch. These are all slow guys, too. 81 speed or 82. They're not real ridiculously fast. I did that on purpose. Um, so, again, the setup. Show blitz, pinch your D-line. It's going to move him out like that and slant down. Stand on this guy's hip and hold R2. Don't look at your play art because it'll, it'll switch stick you into coverage. Unless you want to be switch stick. This is nice though because you have five people blitzing and then you can switch stick to any of your dudes. I'm kind of a big fan on setting five right now. Just because then I switch stick to either one of my flat defenders or my outside zones. If I send four, sometimes I get my yellow and kind of like I'm... Where I wanted the flat, you know, because he's the next guy closest. But to each their own, you know. Uh, again, show blitz, slant down. That's all you really got to do. You can flat the dude on the right. You can send four. You don't have to send five. You could send six and, and uh, uh, run the man coverage play. But, uh, and I'm going to show later in another clip that, uh, that you can. But uh, this is the play I like to come out in because it's the, I can just do my coverage adjustments, focus on that back my corners up and I just I mean see like this another time it didn't come in but that's okay because and everything's not 100% which uh, but I just wanted to give it to you guys my buddy asked for it so I wanted I didn't want to not give it to him so um, and you can go back and watch this in the streams this is another time see uh, I probably was getting a little irritated here when I was doing this but um, you know but if you guys enjoy these videos please hit the subscribe button and then this is another way I wanted to show you guys too is the you could pinch the D-line too, and, and I'll, I'll, I think I actually do show it at the end. Uh, so if you want to run it like that, you can too. You just would show blitz and pinch your D-line and press, and it's gonna like open up the. the it's gonna be a B gap for the lineman on the left more often than the other guys. But uh, this is the main way that we first found it was to show blitz, slant down, <clears throat> easy setup. Sometimes, like I said, sometimes they'll get when they build up resistance, they're gonna it's gonna come in. But this is a nice mix-up blitz. You don't gotta run it every down. But, like, I've been sitting here doing it for a while, and they've built a resistance. If I were to click underneath them, they would be, like, all red. But I don't really care. I Like I said, I want to leave them in so you can see. So, not always 100%. Usually, the other blitzes, though, they are more consistent, I feel like, so far. This is the least consistent one that I've found, I feel like. But it still works well. But I'm not trying to trash it, but uh, it's in my playbook, so I will use it. Here's the time where I said four. You see, kind of got uh, the linebacker attacks from the outside a little, a little hot. But here, I wanted to show you guys. Um, it's the same play, but we're doing to pinch the D line and step outside and stay on this dude's shoulder. And what's going to happen here is you're going to get this. Uh, it's going to be a disengage or like a shoot. Linemen, one of your linemen are going to shoot through. Uh, 
So just you press and then back off your corners and just pinch your D-line. After you show blitz, press, show blitz and then press. Generally, this is what you're going to get. But So I gave you two setups in one video. You can pick your pick one or the other. They both work well. I like this play on this one because the dude's actually going to attack his shoulder when you call another play. Sometimes they just run straight down into the center. It kind of fucks up the disengage for the B-get or the whatever the lineman pass off, whatever, whatever you want to call it. Because he's just passing off to the other blitzer. So here we can send four. And do the same thing. Flat, put the dude in the flat. So that will happen when I think when I feel like more often than not when you send four. But it'll come be tackle sometimes and the lineman. Um, but, you know, if you guys enjoyed this video. Please give me a thumbs up on it. Subscribe. Comment below. Um... I posted a double mug before this, but I'm posting them back-to-back. -back. So hope you guys enjoy. Give me a thumbs up for doing a double post. Um, I'm going to try and post some other stuff and uh, either tomorrow or the next day. But I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Peace out.